key to daily practice is counterintuitive. Most people think that the problem with their willpower is starting to write or paint or whatever. Once they start, they figure they'll continue as long as the inspiration lasts. My experience is that that's the way to create in fits and starts in an off again, on again, off again pattern. And the off times would find me filled with self-criticism as being lazy or feed the imposter complex. And I often felt just like a failure. And that's when I discovered the almost magical power of stopping, of limiting my creative output, of using my willpower to drag me away from the computer or away from the studio. Once I had done the thing, the amount, the task I had set out to do for that day, so I built a daily practice by finding my sweet spot, something small enough that I knew I could do it every day without fail. And then I stopped, even though it often left me feeling, thinking I could do more, but I'd accomplished what I'd promised myself I would do. And so I turned my attention elsewhere. I read, I watched videos, often, you know, that fed my creative imagination. I would play games, nap, walk the dog. It didn't matter. The unconscious that had been given a gift, I came back to it the next day, filled with ideas and inspiration. It was far from dragging myself to do a chore because I should, I couldn't wait to get far started. So to find your sweet spot, ask yourself, how little work would make sitting down right now a no-brainer. That's right, right now. Clearly you have time because you're watching a reel, so stop. And before you watch the next reel, write X number of words or draw something, you know, grab one of those art journals that are probably lying around your studio or even a napkin, I don't care. Just how small an investment would be something that you could do right now, right this minute. And, you know, time yourself if you have to. Don't make it big. Make sure you stop and do it now. And then use that and how it feels to have done it to gauge what size goal would allow you to create every day. Enough to be satisfied, but not drained. Do it and then use your willpower to stop. If you really find your goal too easy to be satisfying or so big, that you just can't drag yourself to do it one day, don't recalibrate. Recalibrate your sweet spot. That's all. Uh, that's what I did this year. You know, I had to recalibrate it because I was doing too many things. And so I just lowered the number and now I'm excited again and, 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 and filled with ideas, ready to go. So pick something right now. See what shows up and use that to create a sweet spot so that you can build your own daily practice and feel the artistic and creative imagination within you growing every day.